So today I have swatches of the Summer Fun or Summer Fun 2015 collection from Colors to Carol. There are six polishes in this collection. These are available right now, so I will link Colors to Carol down below. These are, I mean, down here I have the um, Beach Boys Summer Collection from Colors to Carol. These were more of the sheer, at least some of the lighter colors are more of the sheer neons where you do need a white base for them. Um, they took a little bit to layer since like the yellow and the green stuff did. Um, Colors to Carol has actually come out with new neons and these are more on the pastel neon side. They have a little bit more white to them. They're a little bit creamier. So they do have a very different effect. Like I said, they're a little bit more like almost like a bleach neon. They are way brighter than what I would consider a bleach neon, but they're kind of bordering on that. Again, I will link Colors to Carol down below because these are available right now and I will get into the swatches. So the first polish is called SPF 15 and this is kind of a yellowy orange cream. So here is one coat. This one is a bit streaky and uneven on the first coat. The formula feels smooth. It's pretty easy to apply, but I feel like it's thickening up like as I polish. I seem to be getting some strings off the end of my nail. So there is one coat. So here is two coats. So this one is not completely opaque on two coats. It still has a good amount of streaking and unevenness, so it is going to need a third at least. It applies a little bit uneven to the point where there's some ridges. Um, like some spots are taller than others. So you might need a good top coat to even those out because this seems to dry really fast and it's a little bit hard to get even before it dries. So there is two coats. So here is three coats. This one is still a bit uneven and streaky on three coats. I definitely think this is one that would benefit from a white base. I don't generally like to do more than three coats of a polish for a video just because it gets really long and boring, but yeah, I definitely think this one should go over white. So there is three coats of SPF 15. The next polish is a much brighter true neon orange, and this is called Tan Lines. So here is one coat. So this one is also a bit streaky, a little bit uneven on the first coat, but it does feel considerably smoother. It doesn't feel like it's thickening up like the last one did, or at least that it's not thickening up as much. I'm still getting those strings. So there is one coat. So here is two coats. This one is really close to being opaque in two coats, but it still has some streaks. It also dries a little ridgy and uneven like the last one. How some places are kind of taller than others and there are these ridges, um, hills and valleys, I guess, in the nail polish. A top coat will help smooth that out though. That is two coats. It's still a bit uneven and a bit ridgy, so I'm gonna come back for a third. So here is three coats. So this one covers pretty well on three coats. It's still a little bit streaky. I can still see some dark spots where it's uneven and it's ridgy still. So I'm thinking that three coats is just too thick for this one and this one would probably benefit from a white base as well. So that is three coats of tan lines. The next polish is kind of a neon pastel. It's definitely more on the neon side, but it does have a little bit of white in it, green. And this is called Kiwi Popsicle. So here is one coat. This one is a bit sheer and streaky on the first coat. Like a couple of the other polishes in this collection, this one feels thin and easy to work with from the start, but by the end of the second or third coat, it's starting to get really thick. That hasn't happened to this one yet, but I'm kind of expecting it because it feels the same way that the other two did. So there is one coat. So here is two coats. This one covers pretty well on the second coat, but it is still a little bit streaky. And I do have some dark spots where it's uneven. The formula is also starting to thicken up on me a bit. So there is two coats. So here is three coats. This one covers pretty well on three coats, but you can still see some dark spots where it's not completely even. So I think this is another one that would probably benefit from a white base. The formula on this one did thicken up after three coats, but it didn't get as thick as the two oranges did. So there is three coats of Kiwi Popsicle. So the next polish is called Bright Shorts, and this is a neon pink. So here is one coat. This one is a bit sheer on the first coat and a little bit streaky, but it's not as streaky as the last few. Smooth, easy to apply formula at first. I'm not sure if it's gonna thicken up though because most of the other ones did. So there is one coat. So here is two coats. This one almost covers completely on two coats. It's just a little bit uneven, so I think I'm gonna do a third. The formula is starting to thicken up on me a little bit though. So here is three coats. This one covers completely on three coats. It still is a little bit uneven where it dries ridgy, but there are no dark spots or streaks. A top coat should be able to take care of those ridges. 
This one might benefit from a white base, but I don't think it's 100% necessary. So there is three coats of bright shorts. The next polish is called Flip My Flops, and this is a lighter, kind of creamy, pinky purple. It's almost on like the neon pastel side. So here's one coat. This one covers really well on the first coat. I have some minor streaking and a few uneven spots, but not that bad. The formula is smooth and easy to apply. So there is one coat. So here's two coats. This one covers completely in two. It's a little bit ridgy, but not bad. I did have some bits of undissolved pigment that were darker than the actual polish when I did my swatch pictures, but I've only seen one tiny one come out so far this time. I did forget to mention that most of the polishes in this collection do dry matte, so you will want a good top coat if you want to make them shiny. That will also help with the ridginess. So there is two coats of Flip My Flops. And the last polish is a medium sky blue cream, and this is called Watching Clouds. So here is one coat. This one also covers pretty well on the first coat. It's a little bit streaky, and I can see through it a bit, but it does cover better, and it's less streaky than most of the other ones. The formula on this one is good. It's smooth and easy to apply. Flip my flops, I forgot to mention, it did thicken up a little bit as it went on, but not much. I'm hoping this one's the same. So there is one coat. So here is two coats. This one covers completely in two coats, but I'm doing a thicker second coat just to make sure. It's a little bit ridgy still though. If you don't work fast and you work the polish too much, you will end up getting streaks. I did that on my middle finger. So there is two coats of Watching Clouds. My favorite in this collection is Kiwi Popsicle. Um, I really, really like pastel neons, bleach neons, whatever you want to call them, but I tend to really, really gravitate towards green pastel neons and bleach neons, and this one is by far my favorite because it is a green, because it's a light, bright green without being like a neon neon green. True neon greens I tend to not gravitate towards as much, but I really, really like when they have a little bit more of a pastel element to them. So Kiwi Popsicle is definitely my favorite. So again, I will link Colors to Carol down below because these are available right now. I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I will talk to you later. Bye.